Hello, welcome back to all your witches, wizards and muggles out there. Today I am going to do my Harry Potter, what is my Harry Potter Magus video. Um, if you don't know what a Magus is, it's basically where a witch or a wizard can turn themselves into an animal and they're able to do so at will. So I love that about Prison of Axaman. I love that you can, that you can do that. And I kept asking myself, if I was an Animagus, what form would I be? And I would love to be a cat. They're just so sneaky, they're so cunning, but yet they're so affectionate and loyal as well. So I hope I can be a cat. If not, I'm happy to be a dog or a bird. That's another thing I'm happy with. Um, I haven't seen really many other YouTubers do this type of video, so I don't know if you guys know any of them. List, the, the, list them down below in the comments section. And if you guys like it, give it a thumbs up, click subscribe before you leave, and turn on the post notification bell as well, because otherwise you won't be able to see when I upload my videos. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's see. Um, what website should we use? Let's go zoo.com. I'm going to leave, leave the website down below. So the first question is, which word best describes you? Witty, rebellious, calm, or selfish? I'll say calm. I'm very a calm person. I don't, I'm not really that rebellious. I mean, I was when a teenager, but that comes with the package. Witty, I'm not that witty, to be completely honest with you, and I'm definitely not selfish, so let's go with calm. Next question. If you guys hear me sniffling, I'm coming down with something, so ignore that. Oh, I'm going to get tissue. Ugh. Okay, that's better. All right. Next question. What are your favorite color schemes? Dual tones, dark colors, natural colors, or bright colors? Oh, neutral colors, not natural. Um. Well, if you look around the room, I'm pretty much a mixture of everything. But I mostly go neutral. No, 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 I also like dark colours. And bright colours. Oh, there's too many. Let's go with dark colours. Why not? Next question. What, question number three. Which of these elements speaks to you the most? Fire, air, earth or water? Now, I love water. I'm an Aquarius, so I'm a water baby. When I was little, I used to love spending all my time in the water, especially when my dad and I used to drive up to this place in um, Sydney called Brooklyn. And when I was younger, I used to love going there and playing in the water and eating chips there. So I'm going to go with water. Can you imagine controlling the water? You'd be like Percy Jackson in... in um, Oh, God. I lost my train of thought. Anyway, question four. Uh, which season is your favourite? Summer, autumn, winter, or spring? Now, autumn is also another word for fall if you're American or up there in the Northern Hemisphere, but in Australia we say autumn. So I'm going to go with summer because, once again, I am a water baby, but I do love winter too because at least winter you can bundle up in nice warm clothes and... You can keep yourself warm, whereas in summer it's difficult to keep yourself cool. So, I'm going to go with, I might go with summer. Question number five, which, oh, what is most important thing to you? Family, friendship, love, myself. Um, well, technically I classify friendship in with my family. I'm like my best friends, I always considered them my family, my flesh and blood, my sisters and brothers from another parent. So I'm going to go with family. Next question, number six. How do your friends describe you? How do your friends see you? I don't know. I don't ask them. Um, as, as, the, as the trustworthy one, as the mischievous one, as the wise one, as the stinky one. Hmm. I think I'm the more trustworthy one. My best mate is definitely the, either the sneaky one or the mysterious one, and my best girlfriend is definitely the wise one. So I'll be the trustworthy one. Next question, number seven. How many friends do you have? Two, <laughs> really. I only have two best friends. I need more friends. Oh, no, I'm desperate. I need more friends, but I only have um, two. So... I have quite a few. I have close friends, 
tons. I can count them on one hand. Yeah, I can count them on one hand. <laughs> That's a bit desperate. Um, number eight, which one of these traits do you appreciate the most? A strong will, free spiritedness, intelligence, or cunning? Definitely not cunning. Um, intelligence, free spirit, and I can never say that word. Free spirited, spiritedness, or a strong will. I'll say intelligence. I do love someone who's intelligent. So let's go with that. Number nine, in your free time, which of these would you do? Hang out with friends, go to a comedy show, read a book, go to the movies. I would read a book in my free time. Like at the moment, I'm rereading Harry Potter and the Prisoner Bag. Prisoner? Order of the Phoenix. So I would read a book. Very Hermione Granger and Bell there, but. Um, question 10. If you had to choose one superpower, what would you choose? Telekinesis, which is moving objects with your mind. Mind reading, I don't want to be like Edward Cullen, no way, Jose. The ability to fly, that would be quite handy, but I'm scared of heights. Like, you put me on a plane, I wouldn't be able to cope. I need to have music in my ears or a book to distract me for the fact that I'm on a plane. Oh, it's, it's bad. Or shape-shifting. Uh, I'm going to go with telekinesis. Uh, ever since I watched Sam doing that on Supernatural, I'm like, oh, my God. So, yeah, I, I think that's cool power, not to mention Sam is quite hot. Comment down below if you watch Supernatural. I'm up to season, I'm re-watching season 12 at the moment. Oh, gosh, okay. What kind of animals do you like? Woodland creatures, canines, felines, or rodents? Definitely felines. I wonder if this actually affects your um, animagus. Let's go felines. Next question. Oh, I wonder how many questions there are. Number 12. What would you use your animagus form for? To help others, to pull pranks on people? I'm not a prank person. To be free, to spy on people. I would do it, use it to be free because if you're an, an animal, you can be, you can do whatever you want to do. Whereas if you're a human, like, if, People would look at you, whereas as an animal, you could just walk off and do whatever you want. Oh, nothing. Um, so I'll go to be free. Number 13, if you were an animal, where would you live? A forest, in a cave, a castle, or the city? Um, I'd say in a castle. Why not? I've always dreamed about a castle. Oh. Okay, question 14. Finish the line. Rules were made to be broken, completely ignored, followed, kept, be kept in mind. I would say rules are meant to be kept in mind, not exactly followed, but not exactly broken. I'm like in the between stage, so I'll break something if it doesn't mean that much to me, but I'll keep them in the back of my mind anyway. So I'll say that one. Question 15. Which Hogwarts house would you be in? Gryffindor. Duh. Have you seen my background? I'm a Gryffindor. Where, number 16. Where would your favourite place in Hogwarts be? The Quidditch pitch, the common rooms, the library or the room of requirement? I'm tossing up between the library or the room of requirement. Um, let's go with the room of requirement. Why not? You can find anything in there. Number 17, which of these Harry Potter locations would you come, would you most likely to visit? Godric's Hollow, the Chamber of Secrets, Diagon Alley, or Hogsmeade? I don't like snakes, so no way in hell am I going in the Chamber of Secrets. Um, Godric's Hollow would be cool to live in. Diagon Alley would be a cool place to shop, and so would Hogsmeade. So I would go with Diagon Alley. Because that's how you are open to in the Philosopher's Stone. So I'm going to be sentimental. And go with Diagon Alley. Uh, number 18. Which store slash building in Diagon Alley would you own? Broomstick, Green Gods Bank, Ollivanders, or the Leaky Cauldron? I would go with Ollivanders. Why not? Let's go with something weird. I wouldn't like to own brooms. I don't like flying. Uh, number 19, which spell is your favourite? Petrificus Totalis, Alohomora, Obliviate, Wingardium Leviosa. 
I'm going to go something again, sentimental, and go back to the Foster the Stone. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. So let's go with Guardian Leviosa, number 20, which com covert which coverted position at Hogwarts would you have? Captain of the Quidditch team, head boy slash girl, prefect or teacher's pet? I'm not a teacher's pet. I'm not going to be a captain of the Quidditch team because I don't like flying. I'd probably be a prefect. Head boy and all girl is a big responsibility. So let's go prefect. Next question. How many questions are there? Number 21. Which class would you most like want to take? Defensive Dark Arts, Transfiguration, Herbology or Charms? Now, since we're doing an Omegas form, I'm going to say Transfiguration. Number 22. Who is your favourite Hogwarts professor? Dumbledore, Mad Eye Moody, Remus Lupin, or McGonagall. Again, I'm going to go with McGonagall. She was actually pretty hilarious, especially in the um, Deathly Hollows Part 2. How she goes, I've always wanted to use that spell. That's my favourite scene. Uh, which of the this, oh, which of the Marauders would you be? No way in hell am I won't tell. So, Prongs, Padfoot, or Mooney. I'd probably be Mooney. I think because Prongs and Padfoot would bullies in school so I'll go with Mooney. Next question 24 what magical job would you have? Aura, Quidditch Pyre, Professor or Death Eater? Professor please. I would love to teach at Hogwarts. Thank you very much. Um what would your Patronus be? Now my Patronus on Pottermore is a weasel and the close and let's see what they have and we'll try and match it up to the closest one. So there's a deer, a dog, a cat, or an otter. So I said I'm a weasel, so we'll go with otter because they're a similar shape. So let's go with otter. Next question. Number 26. Which magical creature fascinates you the most? Dragon, hippogriff, werewolf, werewolf or thestral? I don't like the concept of thestrals because you can only see them if you've seen death. Dragon, I've always loved dragons, but they scare me. Hippogriff would be kind of cool, and again, werewolves I like in theory, but they scare me. I guess I'll choose dragons because maybe you can train it to listen to you. So let's go with dragons. Next, come on, internet, thank you. Number 27, which Harry Potter adult do you admire the most? Oh, god. Um, James Potter, Sirius Black, Dumbledore, or Voldemort? I would go with. This is hard because, I mean, I don't really admire Voldemort. I don't like his way of thinking, it sounds like another Hitler to me. Um, James Potter, I mean, he did sacrifice himself to save his son and wife. Sirius Black, I also admire because of the fact that, um, you know, he did betray James Lily, whereas Wormtail did. Dumbledore, I don't really admire that much. I know, controversial, but despite the fact he had all this power, he still allowed Harry to be in the Triwizard Tournament. He still allowed Harry to break all these rules and everything like that. So I don't really admire Dumbledore. Plus, he had harbored a lot of secrets. So I'm excited when um, Fantastic Beast number two comes out because you will get to hear more of Dumbledore's story. But for now, I'm going to choose James Potter. Next question. There must be 30 questions, I swear. Number 28. Which of these people do you think you'd get along with the most? Harry Potter, Fred and George, Hermione and Draco. Now, I've said a million times on this channel that I think Hermione and I would get along great because we're both outsiders. So let's go with Hermione. 29. Which Harry Potter characters do you hate the most? Baltimore, Electric Lestrange, Lift. Panair Greyback or Lucy's Malfoy. Why can't they be Umbridge? Why don't they list Umbridge as a character? Um, I'd go with Greyback because he beat Lupin as a kid. So let's go with Greyback. We'll get revenge for Professor Lupin. Why not? Uh, number 30, which of the Deathly Hollows would you want the most? You guys already know what I'm going to say, but that's the Invisibility Cloak because I don't want the Elder Wand. That's too much power. And the Resurrection Stone, I think it's bullshit. So... Oh, oh wow. Okay, I'm a cat. I am a cat. I don't know if you guys can see it. 
but I am a cat. Wow, that's actually pretty good. So it says, most of the time you are the silent one. You talk when needed to impart some wisdom, which is why your opinions are so valuable to your friends. When things go down, you are calm and collected. You are also the one who knows everyone's secrets by their choice because you are so trustworthy. I can't believe it. I said at the, at the beginning of this video that I would love to be a cat. And I'm a cat. And I didn't even play this quiz before. That's actually pretty damn impressive. So if you guys liked this video, as I said in the beginning, give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe before you leave. Turn on the post notification bell so you guys won't miss out on any of my other videos. And if you guys have done this quiz, leave your results down the bottom. I want to see it, know what you guys have got as your animators form. Anyway, I'm going to go and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.